Today, we produce about 300 million tons of plastic waste every year. PET, a common type of plastic, takes 450 years to decompose. How can we solve this? PHA, a substitute to plastics, are linear polyesters produced by bacteria fermentation of sugar or lipids. They are biodegradable and are used in the production of bioplastics. However, conventional method has limitations. Dyeing plastic with nile red, known as colorimetric quantification, have limitations. They can be used to quantify, but since bacteria is no longer alive, accuracy decreases. Chromatography can also be used to quantify, but it is only measurable when cells are destroyed. Hence, growth cannot be observed continuously. An alternative mechanism of PHA synthesis has been uncovered using Tomocube's holotomography technology. Here, HD offers a label-free, fast, 3D imaging method that identified PHA granules in the native cell state. Tomocube's holotomography was used to observe the bioplastic granule being accumulated in living bacteria cells. HD images cell and identify PHAs using refractive index, which is an intrinsic property of matter indicator of how fast light can travel through it. In vivo, PHA granules were identified by the distinctively high RI region. In this research paper, PHA accumulation was quantitatively analyzed and compared between the native and recombinant PHA producing cells. As a result, the PHB granules volume, content, density, localization was compared between native and non-native producers of PHB. The scatter plots of A and B shows PHB weight versus cell volume, and C and D shows PHB content versus PHB granules weight for C indicator and recombinant E. coli cells respectively.